Guys, I must tell you one little thing that's very, very powerful about getting results with women. And that is, if you are attached to the outcome, forget about it. Forget about being in a good state. Forget about having a good journey in seduction. Just completely walk away right now. And the reason why I say this is because you must understand that your attachment to outcome robs you of all the power that you have. I remember when I was like hitting the streets and I was going out so much. I still go out for us all the time now. But when I was going out and doing 10 approaches a day and no, in, in, the, in the day I was doing 10 to 15 and then I would go out at night on a weekend it would be big nights. And in the times I would do this, it wasn't the way I do it now where every single one count. It was in a way where I was like, okay, if I get a lot of numbers, then I'll feel good. If I get many women being nice to me, then I'll feel good. And it used to be this thing of day game was only good when women were nice to me. And when they weren't nice, when the day game was bad, women weren't nice to me. And that in itself made my state be in two different places. And the, one, the first place was me feeling good when I had girls be nice to me, me feeling bad when I had girls be mean to me. And what I started to see over time was, it was just my attachment to the outcome of expectation. The attachment to outcome of wanting to get something good for me having put in effort. Me to get a good reaction for me having to go up to a woman and say something that's nice. And I want to tell you guys who are out there, you're hitting the streets, you are in whatever environment you are at night, to let go of the outcome. Completely just let it go. And the question you want to ask yourself is, where is my importance when I walk up to a woman? Is my importance when I am walking up to her to get the result or to focus on the experience that we're having? And that's the clear indicator of are you attached to the outcome? Every single time I noticed in my journey that I was attached to the outcome, my feelings were fluctuating all the time. The way I felt and what was happening was always going up and down and up and down. And I got tired of that because I was like, I know that there's a better way to do this. I don't have to always go out and I'll talk to this girl and I'm feeling good. Then I'll talk to this girl and I'm feeling bad. Then I'll talk to this girl and I'm feeling good. And just that constant back and forth, that was the thing that made me come at peace with just focusing on the experience that I'm having and letting go of the result that I'm after. And I was so fixated on it too. I was like, all right, I'm going up to this girl and I know that I want to get her number. I'm going up to this girl and I know that I want to get this result. I just know it. And I absolutely, the fact that I know it, I really want this to be a good thing. And the fact that this is a good thing and I want this so much, it better turn out the way that I, that I hoped for. And it robbed me of my power. And I felt really, really deflated. And in that deflated feeling, I started to come to, all right, I will never be able to control the outcome, so I'm just gonna totally let it go. If girls are nice to me, I'm gonna be in the same place. If girls are mean to me, I'm gonna be in the same place. And that's what you call equanimity. Equanimity is being neutral to what happens around you. To being neutral to the situations that you go into. And being a person that's equanimous, that's what makes you amazing for this journey. That's what makes every interaction beautiful to you because you're now focusing on what's happening instead of the thing that you're going after. So moment to moment, you're present. When you always focus on the result, you can never ever be present moment to moment. And that's something that came as a jewel to me along my journey. And it's something that I want to give you guys. Before you have to go through all the shit that I went through and all the guys out there who are teaching this, let me give you this jewel. Focus on the experience that you're having and let go of the outcome. 
And the moment that you do that, this journey becomes super, super enjoyable. It becomes uh, free flowing. It becomes very joyful for you. You become somebody that's incredibly present to every situation that you're in because you're not attached to anything. And the attachment is the thing that is gonna completely take you away from the moment. It's gonna make you go, okay, how can I do something in a way so that the woman like me? How can I do something in a way so that this situation can turn out in the way that I want it to? And it never works. Never ever will it work. The secret, the secret, the secret to this is change your focus. Change your focus from what you're after to what's happening in front of you. And this is how things become enjoyable as well. It becomes immensely enjoyable. And I noticed that the fact that I changed my focus and I'm starting to, and I started to act this way, every situation I go into now, I'm not even thinking about the outcome. Because sometimes I don't even like the girl. And I, that's what I want you guys to do, is to let go of that thing, man. Let it go. You know, I can talk blue in the face with this because I've just done it so many times. And I just don't want you guys to have to go through all that to get the results you want. You can bypass all that bullshit and be here in this moment, free flowing with the woman in a way that you want to. This is Sony Solo from Natural Lifestyles saying I love you guys and I want you to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. If you want to do coaching with me, you know, the TNL boys, if you want to do some Skype coaching, some one-on-one, -on -one, go to the naturallifestyles.com, go to the contact page and put in an inquiry, and Sean will get to you ASAP. I'm out.